All right, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just about a teaspoon. Okay, give it a swirl. And now we're gonna start cooking all of our veggies that we cut up earlier. As you can see, our potatoes are boiling, by the way, that I just mentioned. They're not done yet, though, trust. But they're boiling away. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them now. All right, so, onions. We're actually just gonna put all the veggies in at once. So, onions go in. Get out, get out. There we go. Carrots. Celery. You can see I have a nice big saute pan for this exact reason. There's a lot going on here. Right, give that a little bit of a mix. We're going to cook it for just mm, like three or four minutes just to get it softened and a little brown. Now I'm going to add half of our garlic, remember? We're going to save the other half for the mashed potatoes. So, half goes in. The onions, all of the veggies here have been cooking for about uh, four minutes. Add some salt. About a teaspoon of salt. We got a lot of veggies to season and meat. Same amount of pepper. Okay, give that a mix. <clears throat> All right, so next step is to deglaze our pan. Now, if you don't remember, deglazing is adding usually <coughs> some, some form of alcohol. In this case, I'm using red wine because it goes really well with beef. Um, but you don't have to use alcohol, you can use stock, you can use water, it doesn't matter. Okay, give Lovely. All right. And I'm gonna put our meat back in. And all the juices are collected. All right, so now, Give that a little bit of a mix. Now we're gonna add some beef broth to this mix. So you can use chicken as well. It's just that we have ground beef, so I'm using ground beef. But we also have ground turkey, so you could use chicken broth, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put about two cups, which is about half of this container. And I'm also gonna add some dried thyme to this, which is my absolute favorite herb in the whole wide world. And then I have some dried parsley as well. So I'm just going to add that in. So, perfect. So, well, let me drain these real quick. I have my colander in my sink, so I'm just going to drain them. All right, so I added the broth. I'm actually going to try and scrape a little bit more and get more of that, those bits off the bottom. All right. So this has been simmering for about uh, five minutes. I just wanted to reduce some of the uh, stock that we added. Okay, so it's looking really, really good. So now we're gonna add our last few veggies. So first up here, I have some frozen peas. So there's about, what, maybe a cup of peas, maybe a little less than a cup of peas. And then I have some frozen cut green beans. And this is a one pound bag, so I'm just gonna add about half of the bag. That is all, my friends, for the meat mixture. Look at that. Yum, yum. Cannot wait to munch into this. Yum, yum. 